In 2000, animal experiments were performed using MyroCam capsule endoscope. By 2004, IntroMedic was established and selected as a top 10 R&D achievement in science and technology. KGMP was passed in 2006, in addition to the ISO 13485 certification, which completed requirements for manufacturing and Korean Food and Drug Administration related items, opening the Korean market. The CE marking was also received, enabling exports to various countries. MyroCam is the only capsule utilizing human body communication for transmission of the images from the capsule to the receiver. The MyroCam capsule captures very high quality images and with the longest operation time and more images per second, the capsule offers the most comprehensive diagnostic view of the entire small bowel. The MyroCam receiver is easy to use, lightweight and comfortable for the patient to wear. Data is readily uploaded from the receiver to the software for review. The MyroView software is user-friendly with a number of time-saving features to ensure a quick and effective diagnostic review of the patient file. The capsule endoscopy procedure enables painless and non-invasive observation of the entire small bowel. Capsule Endoscope Procedure Overview Patient Preparation Patient should be provided with preparation information at least one week in advance of the procedure. Do not take iron supplements one week prior and no medications two hours prior to ingesting the capsule. Diabetic patients should consult with physicians to adjust insulin medication. Do not eat or drink such as milk, juice, etc. 12 hours prior to the procedure. Only water may be ingested during this period. Abstain from smoking 12 hours prior to the procedure. Physicians are recommended to prescribe a laxative preparation, such as PEG or sodium phosphate, to be taken the evening prior to the procedure. Patient should wear comfortable two-piece clothing. Patient administration. Confirm patient has followed the preparation accordingly and begin the administration procedure. Nurse or medical practitioner should turn on the computer, start MyroView and log in. Connect the receiver to the computer via the USB cable. Make sure the receiver is turned on. After clicking the receiver button, click Initialize. After initialization, enter the patient data. Complete all required fields. If all required fields are not entered, the patient data cannot be saved. Capsule serial number must be entered. The serial number can be found on the back of the capsule packaging. After entering the patient data, click the Save button. Disconnect the USB cable from the receiver. Attach fully charged battery to the receiver. Sensor pad placement. Describe where the sensor pads will be attached on the patient. Open the bag of sensor pads and attach the data cables prior to affixing to the patient. Patient may need to be shaved as required. Attach sensor pads according to the color and number and on the data cables as follows. To attach pad number one, locate the center between the umbilical and the xiphoid process. From this center point, attach the sensor to the distal point on the right flank of the patient's body. To attach pad number two, place the sensor pad on the xiphoid process line directly below the midpoint of the right clavicle. To attach pad number three, place the sensor pad on the xiphoid process line directly below the midpoint of the left clavicle. 
To attach pad number 4, locate the center between the umbilical and the xiphoid process. From this center point, attach the sensor to the distal point on the left flank of the patient's body. To attach pad number 5, place the sensor pad on the right pelvic line, 2 centimeters behind sensor number 1. To attach pad number 6, place the sensor on the right inguinal line 2 centimeters to the outside of sensor number 2. To attach pad number 7, place the sensor on the right inguinal line 2 centimeters to the outside of sensor number 3. To attach pad number 8, place the sensor pad on the right pelvic line 2 centimeters behind sensor number 4. To attach pad number 9, place the sensor directly below the right clavicle. The numbering of the data cables and sensor pad must match the specified area. After attaching the sensor pads, have the patient sit up and connect the data 